All right, we're looking at doing the main pipe of this um, interpenetrations and development drawing. Um, okay, it's easy enough to find uh, these points one and four. Let's just have a look at this. I've labeled this as G. I've got a line G. There's line G going all the way up there. I've labeled that as G over there. I've labeled it as G over there. I take a line coming across from where number one intersects at that point coming across. There's my intersection number one. Number four intersects over there, comes across. There's number four over there, but it comes across to this side. There's four over there, and there's one over there on the other side. So when this thing loops around, I weld those two edges and those two edges together, and uh, we end up with our cylinder. All right, let's try and find this point A over here. How do I get that point A in the right position? First of all, we need a true length distance. I'm going to measure from 1 to A over there. Um, I like to mark that off down at the bottom over here. And I mark that, put a little A over there. I'm going to take a line going up over there. I take a line coming across over here. And I mark that point as A. You can see where the curve of interpenetration is at A. Mark that as A. Right, once I've got A, I'm going to take the true length distance from where A is to where line 2 intersects the cylinder. There's the true length distance over there. I'm going to take that and I'm going to place that over there. Label that as 2 over there. I'm going to take a line going up over here. Line coming up from 2. And I'm going to take a line coming across from where two intersects on the cylinder. There's line two coming in, intersects at that point. Take that across until it reaches that line over there, and I can mark off two over there. Right, once I've got that going, um, I can see that two goes straight down to where three is. Two is coming straight down to where three is. They're both on that same point over there. I can take a line coming across from where 3 is over here. There it is, coming out from that point. And I know that 2 and 3 are in line with each other, so I can label that point over there as point 3. Right, once I've got that, I now have a look and see from 2 coming back to point D over here. There's 2 coming back to point D. There's two over there coming back to point D. It will be on the same line as A. And I can take a line coming out from D over here. There we go, from D over there, coming across and intersecting on that line over there, giving me point D. Once I've got that, I can now draw in my curve of interpenetration over here. From there to there. From Number one, going through A, down to two. And I can draw in that curve going over there. I can draw in this curve going in over here. And I can draw a straight line going from two to three. We're going to have the same curve on the other side, except we need to look at the points on the other side. I'm going to go from one to B. Remember, I'm going from one to, one to six uh, over here. So one, there's one going round to six, and what are the numbers between one and six? I've got one and six, and B is in the middle. Right, what is the true length distance between one and B? There's my true length distance between one and B. I come across here, I mark off that distance over there, I label it as B. I draw a line coming up from B over here. There we go, coming up over there. And I can take a line coming across from where B is over here. There it goes all the way across until it meets that line that I just drew coming up over there. And I have got point B at that point over there. Right, once I've got that, um, I need to find where point, uh, point 6 is. Okay, where is point 6? Well, what is the true length distance from B to 6? There's my true length distance from B to 6. There's my true length distance from B to 6. I'm going to draw a line coming up over there. Let's draw a line coming 
up over there. I come across here to where number six intersects with the cylinder. Take that across, intersects at that point over there. I label that as six over there. Um, I know that number five is directly below number six, so I can take number five. There's line five coming in to the cylinder at that point. I take a line coming across from line five all the way across there, and I can label that as five over there. I now need to look and see what goes between five and four, that is C. So coming back from five to C over there, coming back from five to C, it's on the same line as B over here. So I can label C, line coming up from that same line coming up over there. And I can take C across from my curve of interpenetration over here. Take that across until it intersects there. There is point C over there. I now have all the points I need to draw my curve of interpenetration, dot, 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 and draw it in. There's the curve that I need over here, dot, 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 and draw it in over there. And finish it off over here. There's my curve of interpenetration on this side, curve of interpenetration on that side. Fold it round and I'll be able to cut that out and have the correct hole. Right, there is the whole answer. Let's just zoom out so you can see the whole answer of this 713.